Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to a video on a game called The Shell of Permafrost. It is free and I said on the Steam page that it's about 30 to 40 minutes long because I want to save the big series for Cyberpunk, which is tomorrow. So look forward to that as well. But now, let us try out The Shell of Permafrost. Hope you enjoy the video. We are also selling new merch now, and I'm so excited for this. Look at this design. It's actually so good. I love it. It'll be available until the 23rd of December, I think. So make sure to get it while you can. Now, please enjoy the video. Buy my merch, follow my Twitter, and also subscribe to my second channel. Thanks. Now, let's start. I do not know how long I've been walking. It seems that the heavy snow is swallowing everything, including my existence. Aw, I'm shivering with a trace of remaining consciousness. Without knowing where this road leads, I just stumble into this unknown darkness. Without realizing what I'm doing, I find myself repeating the shattered words. As if I'm trying to grab something, my heavy mind cannot interpret my actions. It was after a while before I realized. I am repeating that promise. Okay. Ooh, I really like how that looks. I think we just died. I'm not controlling this, by the way. I'm just getting fucked up. <laughs> Live in peace, never use magic again. I literally missed the first one. Okay. And we fell. Do not look back. An old bard wandering from a faraway land sang an ancient song. The song was written in the most complicated northern language. What Finnish? Telling the story of a cursed country. It was said that departing from the phantom woods and taking the carriage, you could reach a valley after a whole month's journey. It was covered with snow all year round and its border was guarded by monsters called frost wolves. There you could see the legendary kingdom, North Eve, on the other side of the valley. For decades, this mysterious land was hidden beneath ice and snow. Even the most experienced explorers were unable to reach it. Northeast is cursed. Rumors started to spread. Some said it was because a royal sorcerer betrayed the government, and some claimed that the reason was encroachment of enemy states. The truth remained unclear, yet only one name was feared by everyone. Almost a hundred years ago, it spread from Northeast's border and covered the whole country with its ominous blue light, forming a barrier for the country. Anyone who tried to pass through it would be torn into to pieces by frost monsters. That was the curse of North Eve. Outsiders had given it such a name. The Shell of Permafrost. Alright, oh, dude, look at the colors on this. It's so pretty. Here again. I don't know how long it's been. Sorry, mother. I still can't forget about this place. A natural well. There is a layer of thin ice on the surface. The northern half is frozen by the ruthless weather. The coldness feels unbearable, even if you take only one step closer. North East, such a familiar name. I wish I didn't have to return there again. Sadness. <laughs> ice and snow are frozen like a screen, cutting the tree in half. There's ice on the branches of the northern half, while the southern ones still have signs of life. It looks like there's something in the tree. I think I can climb the tree, but I need to prepare myself before that. Come here when you are prepared. What? I'm not prepared to climb a damn tree? I'm prepared, I think, maybe. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Oh, wait. Quick time event. What? Ah! Okay. And... Uh, uh, uh. And uh 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 uh. Ow. Yay, we did it. Great, I did it. It looks like something is hanging there. There's a tooth shaped pendant on the branch. It looks handmade. It feels very familiar, but I can't remember anything. Got a new clue. Handmade pendant. North Eve. We're right here. It has gone. Why do I? Oh, okay. I can't forgive. Why betray such memory? Don't come to me again disappear. All of them. Oh. Phew, that nightmare again. Was it because I was secretly reading late into the night? Phil, wake up. Open the door. Oops, if Rina finds out I was learning magic secretly, I'll have to do chores for the whole day. I'll have to hide the books before she comes in. Okay. Hide this book. Yes. Oh, okay, so we gotta just, like, do a lot of Things. Yeah. Yep. Easy. You. Ah, ah, ah. Bomb. Success. So if you couldn't tell, this is made in RPG Maker, which is sick. What's up, Arena? Why are you acting all sneaky, Sylvia? Never mind. Breakfast is ready. Come down when you're prepared. I'm always prepared. Wait, can I talk to a lot of stuff or? Wow, that was close. Although, I don't know why she forbids me from learning magic. Arena was so scary when she was mad. Luckily, she didn't find out. I'll prepare to go down for breakfast. Go downstairs when you're ready. Alright, can we read stuff? 
My magic learning notes are on the desk. Bookshelf, that's a first aid kit. Some medicine. Wardrobe with some old clothes inside. Rina gave these to me and to my surprise they fit perfectly. Fireplace. Some empty suitcases. We got some flowers in the bed. Alright, well let's go. Last winter I collapsed in front of Rina's house. Okay, so that's what we saw. I was unable to remember much before that, but I could still recall something. My instinct was telling me that it was better not to remember. Rina let me settle down here in her house. I had no place to go. I avoided her assistance ever since. Together we ran this little pharmacy store in the forest. Huh? You asking me about my outfit? Didn't I mention that? Rina is the famous witch of the Phantom Woods. I see. Go find Rina. Okay. Medicine stuff. History books. Tell the legend of the Phantom Woods. Sabrina's room. Okay, Rina. Sabrina. This is Rina's room. I'm not allowed without her permission. Got it. Storage room. Shut tight. What a chill ass game, man. Why are you talking to a bird? Did you get the mail from there again? Yes, you've been busy with that troubles this year, Rena. What's the problem this time? The Royal Wolf Sorcerer? I'll make my own decision. Your business is just the delivery. Fine, fine. Ever since your daughter ran away with that guy, your temper. Oh, is that what kind of thing we've got going on? What are you mumbling? Nothing, nothing. I have more letters to send. Gotta go. You really need to consider your own life. What is gone cannot come back. I don't need you to remind me of that. Okay, first impression. Seems like Rina is kind of looking for her own daughter in me. And I guess learning magic was what got her to leave before, maybe? Which is why she's so against it or something. Why is it every single short game of all time ever made in the creation of the Earth are all just sad? <laughs> oh, you're finally here. Come and have your breakfast. Sure. Still, I have some business that needs my immediate attention. I'll be back in three days, so look after the store for a while and take care of yourself. Really? Is there anything? wrong? Why in such a hurry? Anyway, it's not something that concerns you. You stay at home and do your work, okay? Stay at home? Ah. Sure, please come back soon, Rena. By the way, do not go near the well. Some poison is cooling off there. It's expensive. Not something you can afford even if you work here for a lifetime. Haha, <laughs> I see. Don't worry, Rena. I'm leaving then. Maybe it's just me overthinking, but I'd like you to know something. Sylvia, no matter what decision you make, I won't stop you. Huh? What do you mean? Nothing. Forget about it. They say, Rina, what decision I make, like, to leave and go back home or something? Boring. Not a single guest in the whole morning. I got an idea. But come to think of it, isn't this my best chance to learn magic? I guess Rina has a lot of books about magic in her room. I'll just take a peek. She won't find out, will she? Maybe the magic's gonna make me remember stuff. Also, this is a perfect game for Christmas. Snowy, chill, and adorable. Just like Christmas. Wait, what? Oh, I'm going to the, her room, I guess. Rina's not at home. I don't get this chance every day. I guess it won't hurt if I take a peek. I knew it. It was locked. I just reviewed the unlocking spell a few days ago. I wrote it down somewhere. Gotta find it. I know what that is. This is why we read stuff early. As one knows about stuff. Yes. Just as I remembered, let me have a look. This spell requires three sets of action. The first set is up, right, down. The beginning of the second set is down, left, up. And the last set depends on the lock's complexity. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Now I can have a try at unlocking the door. Wait, there seems to be something more written on the other side. It was a bit blurry, but I know this is my own writing. It seems I scribbled these with an absent mind because the letters look awkward and ugly. First, forget everything from the past. Okay, this is what we heard. Second, live in peace, never using magic again. And finally, do not look back. So does Arena or Sabrina know about this? Which is why she doesn't want us to learn magic or what's going on? This is... Let's make a promise, okay? This voice. First, forget about everything from the past. Stop it. Second, live in peace, never using magic again. I don't want to remember. The last, do not look back. If I do everything, will... The shell will... Oh, my head hurts. What was that? I guess it was nothing but an old nightmare. It's best to not overthink it. Got a new clue, an old promise. Right, I've already learned the unlocking spell by heart. Now it's time to try it. Sure, I've learned it by heart. It's pretty damn easy. Use the unlocking spell? Yes. Press arrow keys in the following order. Yes. 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 Easy. I did it. Yo, we're in. Alright, what we got in here? Man, you got a room with a damn table and two chairs around it? This is Rena's room. I didn't expect... 
in my imagination there was a really dark place and there was a large cauldron filled with boiling green soup why it's fairly normal to my surprise there must be books about magic on the bookshelves let me take a look so yeah she got like two chairs or two wine glasses i wonder for who a mysterious necklace with a pendant of the sun on the cabinet Ooh, i see we got in the book a thick notebook the only blank pages inside but when I take a closer look, I can see that there are some traces of writings on the page. The words must be hidden by magic. How can I read this? I should make a potion that can show the hidden words. The recipe must be in one of those small cabinets. Gotta find it. The books here are a mess. With letters and signs, a doodle inside the pages. The person who wrote this didn't have much strength, nor consciousness. All the notes end with the name of this place. The Kingdom of Permafrost, North Eve. There's a news clipping in a book. Read it? Yes. The latest news, rebellion riot in the northeast. The respected wolf sorcerer is suspected of being the leader. There's a picture of a wolf-eared girl's back. She's wearing a tooth-shaped pendant. Why? Why did you betray the northeast kingdom? Nope. Oh, the wolf fairy girl? There she is. Why did you do that? We are... Aren't we? Probably we're friends, aren't we? My head starts to hurt again. The rebellion riot and the picture on the clipping. I wonder why I find it so curious. It seems that I've seen it somewhere. Got a new clue, a newspaper clipping. I remember there's a recipe for the revealing potion. Many books about religion. From the Sun Legion of the South to the Time Legion believed in the Northern Continent. Almost everything. Interesting. Very nice little world they got here. There are a few men's jackets in the wardrobe besides Rena's clothes. Though they look old fashioned and haven't been worn for a long time time. Revealing potion. Reveal the messages that are hidden by magic. Magic blueberry, purple potion, and unprocessed natural water. Put the materials in the flask, then perform the actions to make the potion. I'll take it down first. Well, unprocessed natural water. It looks like I can't use the water inside our house. We have some berries in the garden, though. As for the purple potion, I don't think we have any in the hand. I have to make that too. Anyway, it's all taken down. You can check the recipe and process in the menu. Let's go outside and get a berry first of all, I guess some water. Ooh, dude, it's so pretty, goddammit, and the well she was talking about. Really told me not to go near the well. I'd better fetch the water from the lake. Exactly. There we go. We got the natural water, and here we should have the magic blueberries. Easy. Yeah, now we're just gonna figure out our way to make the purple potion thing. Can I go over here? It's a grave here. A small grave. Totem of a sun and some sad words carved on it. It seems to be a memorial for a person named G. Okay, so that's what it is. It seems that her husband has passed away, because... I'm I'm pretty sure there are many old parchments on the bookshelf. Most of them are notes from an explorer. The initial is G. Yes. And that's why, like, the men's jackets are untouched, I guess. And the two glasses of wine. Oh, here we go. A red potion and a blue potion. I can get the purple potion if I mix them correctly. All right. A purple potion was made. Oh, easy. As an advanced potion, revealing potion is slightly difficult to make. Are you ready to make the potion? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah. It's done. Great. I win. Revealing potion is made successfully. Oh, I can read that notebook. Okay, go back to Rena's room. I think I heard some strange noises. Maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, that's definitely not your imagination though, for real. Someone is watching or something. Rena probably knows all this is gonna happen. Judging from the way she was like, you gotta choose. And I won't be mad. The rebellion's stroke. Kingdom Northeast has been put on alert. The royal sorcerer went missing during the riot. Her whereabouts have been unclear. So I'm the royal sorcerer, right? It was from a year ago. Ooh. Can I read? Oh, wait, the book. The words will appear if I use this. With the power of the revealing potion, the writings on the page has shown in no time. A study of the northern magic system, the Shell of Permafrost, as an example. The Shell of Permafrost. It is a vast protection spell performed by a royal sorcerer from almost a hundred years ago. Starting from the borderline of North East, this protection can resist all the enemies outside the kingdom. The Shell of Permafrost can last through generations, however. Its power of protection decreases with each passing year. I see. Rumors say the daughter and the son of the Nacht family. Nacht means, uh, night in German. Nacht. And they're the last ones who are able to maintain it. The shell is connected to the heart of the caster. Slash keeper. Their younger family members. Oh, okay. And that's gotta be me, right? It can only be lifted by the caster or keeper. Or when their heart stops. When civil strife becomes increasingly furious. The current keeper of the shell permafrost is under much pressure. Some reporters claim that the royal family is trying to 
to use any method to maintain the shell in order to protect the kingdom and ensure their crown. It's followed by a complicated study of magic theories. Generations, heart, somehow reminds me of someone. Who could it be? If I can remember them, maybe I can discover something. Got a new clue. The shell of permafrost. Uh, I don't know. Go outside, maybe? Just look around. What about the well? It looks ominous. I'd better stay away from it. Sure. What's over here? I cannot go anywhere, right? Yeah. The clues I've collected are better right than time. So what is this? What is this system? Okay. Handmade pendant. It's got the animal tooth just like we heard in the story. An old promise. Forget about everything in the past. Live without using magic and don't look back. We got the newspaper clipping. A wolf witch who used to have a high reputation in the country became an ally of the rebellion and betrayed the northeast government. The news was from a year ago. We got the shell of permafrost. The ultimate protection magic performed by a royal sorcerer its price was the caster's heart think how there must be hidden facts in the clues you can combine clues what the hell is this i don't know how this works uh, let's try th that and that let's try combining them Ooh. oh here we go i've been waiting i'm so sorry mera i was lost Mera. Never mind, I'm happy that you came. You seem to be rather busy recently. Yeah, we haven't seen each other for a long time since our graduation from the magic school. Oh, you're still wearing it. You mean this pendant? Of course, it was your gift to me. That was when we were in elementary school. How time flies. Yeah, about 10 years ago? You haven't changed a bit. Still carefree. Sometimes I really envy you for that. Sylvia, one day I have to fight against you. Yeah. Will we still be friends? It was Mera? Meredith? How? How can I forget about her? Right, it was Mera who took me. What happened? Why? Rina must have known it. She never mentioned a word. I'm sure she has a reason. There must be more clues. Are there any things that I haven't found out or connected? Got a new clue. An old friend, Meredith. Okay. Was that the fourth one? Yes. An old friend, Meredith. The same reason she allied with the thing and betrayed the thing. Upon thinking of this name, my heart aches as if it was grabbed. I wonder why. But I mean, let's try combining our new clue with something. Oh, yeah, there we go. We both got ears. So wait, I had... I just because I have a head on now. <laughs> Why, Mera? Why did you betray the royal family? You made me. The protection magic. The shell of permafrost is connected with the heart. The royal family has been plotting. They'll do anything. It's very likely that they're going to take the heart and keep it underground with a freezing spell to maintain this damn shell. I don't want to die. I have no choice. I've sworn to serve the kingdom. However, this boy, it's nothing to do with him. Please, at least. Let's make a promise, okay? What is the meaning if I remember? Isn't it nice just staying here? Just stay here and don't think about it? Don't think about anything? At least in this shell of mine, I can forget. I couldn't save anyone, could I? It's enough just like this. Forgetting about the cold reality, forgetting about all of them. This is probably the most comfortable life for me. But, can I just sleep and forget everything? Wait, what? I should go back there no matter what. What can I do if I go back? What can I change if I remember? I don't know. I can't pause right now though. There's a paper here. What does this one do? A magic note. The totem of the goddess of time and memory is drawn on it. Would you like to write anything? No. Wait, I don't know. Can I leave? I cannot leave. Open door. So there are three different things I can do. Okay, let's not forget about everything. I do want to try this. Let's see what we could maybe change. Oh, wait, this is save. Saved. Let's try going out then. Yes. Is that so? I know. Thank you. Mera. Got a new clue. The icy promise. I definitely heard something. A strange noise around here. I suddenly feel so depressed because of that noise, I suppose. Right? From the plants. Did Rina ask you to do this? To hide the truth from me? Yellow flower. Rina hasn't been so happy since you arrived here, miss. Humph, why are you looking for trouble, kid? Fine, fine, stop fighting. Sorry, miss, we acted on our own. You were just thinking that if you stayed, maybe Rina, she could finally recover. I'd love to stay here as well, not worrying about anything and having this peaceful life. However, it all started with me. If something terrible happens somewhere far away, only because I don't want to confront reality, can I really just ignore everything? Well, we all like Rina and we all like you ever since you came here. It looks like our girl has decided. How about we play a game? A game? Among the four of us, only one tells lies and only one knows the hint. Okay. One lies, one knows the hint. If you can tell who knows the hint, you can win. I have only one chance, right? Yes, if you're wrong, please, can you stay? This is our wish. 
Fine, challenge accepted. Thank you. Are you ready to play? Yes. Fine, let's begin. Ask the plants and decide who knows the hint. I don't know anything. Please don't look at me. <laughs> Mr. Red should know the hint. The yellow one in the sunshine knows the hint. Humph, leave me alone. The grumpy red one is telling lies again. Just ignore him. Okay, so we gotta choose the one who has the hint. The little guy's not even involved, so he doesn't know anything. You know what? I believe him. Blue flower says red knows it. Let's say that blue is right. We trust yellow. Yellow saying that red is lying. Which means that red lying about yellow knowing is false. So it's gonna be red or it's gonna be little guy. What happens if I fail though? Shit. Fuck it. Let's just go. I suppose it's you, Mr. Red. Why? How do you- Yes! Do you have any proof? It was just logic. And you should keep your word. <sighs> You're more than a northern girl, yet you... Tell the hint, we promised. Before she came here, I remember. You were the one that was worried about her not getting in the right answer. You... Fine. It's on the right. Right, that's secret pairs behind the stairs. Sometimes Rena goes there quietly. Oh, I do appreciate everything you've done during this year. Somehow, all of a sudden, the leaves became stiff. As if the conversation was interrupted abruptly. It's time now. It seems that our magic has reached its end. We cannot stop you anymore. Take care of yourself. Thank you, really, thank you. The plants went completely dull. It seems that their lives have drifted away. Well, let's go here. The floor here is strange. I'm sure I can make some discovery here if I break the seal magic. To break the thing, you need to perform one set of complicated thoughts. Yes, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Easy, first try, let's go. The dark passage keeps going. The wooden floors makes a creepy sound with every step. Where does it lead? Somehow, I knew the answer. This is... Dust in the air. The room seems to be unused for a long time. The statue is the goddess of time and memory? Why is it here? I don't know why, but I feel warm. There's a statue in the middle of the storage. The goddess has a wolf head and a woman's body. She's the goddess of the north, representing time and memories. The goddess carries the totem of stars and moon in her arms, according to the legend of the north. Miracles can happen if you pray with all your heart. Is it really the best choice for you? You've decided? Hmm? Ah, sorry, I didn't catch you. Mira, what did you say? Uh, I mean, there's some weird rumor among my classmates recently. They won't stop talking about the nonsense, which is annoying. Ah, how I miss the days when you sat next to me. You were sleeping all the time, therefore I was never bothered during class. It was a long time ago, I'm not a kid anymore, stop making fun of me. By the way, I think that I know that rumor. My little brother talks a lot about it too. It's something like, hmm, in a clear night without moon. If you hold the totem and make a wish, the goddess of time and memory will grant it for you. You want to give it a try? Though I think it's just nonsense, you know? No, you don't. I think you're really curious about it. Let's try. Hmm, I have a pen and paper, but not wood totem. What about you, Mera? I don't know why, though. Though, today is winter solstice. It's a perfect day. The sky is clear and the moon is not in the sky. See? Are you wearing the tooth pendant? Right, give it to me. Here, we have a time totem of stars and moon. You just made one by yourself. Will the goddess recognize it? I wish. I hope my friends and family stay healthy and the war near our borders will stop soon. I hope everyone can be happy. What was that? World peace? You're still such an innocent child. It's a blaffin Emmy. It's my wish to the goddess. It's no joke. Right, okay, then don't you dare forget about it. If you do, I'll definitely hit your head and make you remember. Please don't. I know how you punch. It'll hurt. By the way, what's your wish? I guess it's more realistic than mine. My wish? Yeah, you choose to play less many people, but I'd rather wish for a single person's happiness. Aww. The most important one in my life. Really? Mero, you have a boyfriend now, don't you? Why don't you tell me? Who is he? Don't be silly. I'm not telling. Of course it's... it's me. So, if one day I have to fight against you, will we still be friends? What was that? Was there anything wrong? So, are you really... never mind. I mean, it's just that what if, but please answer me seriously, okay? Why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? Did I upset you? I did eat your pudding, copied your homework, messed up your clothes and lied about it when we were kids, you know. Huh? So that was you! Anyway, I believe you no matter what. Ouch, don't hit me. Don't run away. Come back. How long can this peaceful life last? After all, Silas. I do wish the time could stop now. I wish that day could come later. Or never. But it's only a wish. Syl has made her choice. Now it's time for me to make mine. The goddess of time and memory, if you can hear me, my humble. Please at least let her. What did Mera wish for that night? 
I believe the truth is close, or should I say the truth was always there, waiting for me to reveal it. It's so close to me, yet so far away. The last piece, where is it? New clue, time and memory. Leave when you are ready, leave this house. Can I not trigger something new if I combine some stuff? Are you ready to leave the house? Yes. Thank you for taking care of me this year. However, this happiness of a normal life is nothing more than an escape for me. I have to go out of the shell to face the truth, to confront the real me. No matter how long it takes, no matter how difficult it is, it is my decision. Goodbye. Hope we can see each other again. Huh. Normal end, the shell of farewell. What? It just ends right there? Okay. Back to black and white one, where we could go to bed. Yes. Let's try just sleeping and forgetting about everything. What happens then? I'm embraced by sleep and comfortably fall into peace. Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, then every single day I can live in peace now. I don't have to think about anything. All I need to do is live my life happily with a big smile on my face. I suppose this is the happiness of a normal girl, like my mother said. Three days later, Arena has returned with a boy that I don't know. He looks familiar though. If I stare at his face for a long time, my heart stings. Who is he? Anyway, it doesn't matter. A happy and peaceful life is waiting for the three of us. I believe so. I don't expect that this shell of fake happiness will break eventually. At least, we are happy now. Hmm. Fake end. True. Are those the only two endings? Only thing I can think of is looking for more stuff here or trying to... Fail the flower thing. I like I can skip all this stuff like this by holding control. It's very nice. Alright, so if we pick blue, and then we pick blue again, yes. Hmm, I guess it's you. Oh, they're happy. Then you're wrong. Oh, that was difficult. <laughs> so much for this, Northern girl. Please keep your words and stay here with us. Sure, because I promised. What a shame, my heart still says so. When I was thinking about this, my mind suddenly went drowsy. Huh, I should be looking after the store. Why was I standing beside the flowers? It's not yet the time for resting. I'd better return to work. Hello, mister. Good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you with? We have all kinds of... I beg your pardon? A girl? Is there a wolf girl hidden here? Well, I have no idea, mister. Please don't. I don't know. I don't know anything. Please don't take me. What? I don't want to go back. I don't want to be in that shell. Did we just get fucking... Game over? Guess that's an ending. Okay. <laughs> What's that? What is this? This is Mera's wish. What? We wrote them down and exchanged our wishes, so their contents were hidden to everyone but the goddess. What happened? How can this be? A goddess will no longer keep a person's wish a secret after the person is gone. Mera, what happened? Oh, I want to be your shell. My wish? Yeah, you chose to bless many people, but I'd rather wish for a single person's happiness. The most important one in my life. I know there's no going back. I don't expect the blessing from the gods. Here, I only swear with all my heart. So, no matter what happens, I'll always be your shell to protect you. Why, Mera? Why did you betray the royal family? You made me, Sylvia. Why did you agree? Why did you agree with them? The protection magic. The shell of permafrost is connected with your heart. Yeah, we pretty much knew this. The royal family has been plotting. They're going to take your heart and keep it underground with a freezing spell to maintain this damn shell. I don't want you to die. So, please, don't go back. Mera. Thank you, Mera, but I've sworn to serve the kingdom. It's my destiny, even if I have to give everything, including my life. However, this boy, he's different. My brother's too young and doesn't have much power. His destiny lies out of the shell. Mera, let's make a promise, okay? Save this child for me. Make him forget all about this. Make him stay far away from magic and have a peaceful- Oh. Yeah, so the kid from the fake ending was my brother. And finally, do not look back. Forgive me, Syl. I can't keep that promise. You've been alone somewhere far, somewhere I can't reach. That is why I can't protect you, as always. The goddess of time and memory, if you can hear my humble voice. Please rewrite her memory and let her go far away. And let me be her shell to block all the evil and misfortune for her. I'm not afraid of hatred, betrayal, or despair. I don't mind if she misunderstands me, as long as I can lessen her pain. I would like to sacrifice everything I have. I'm gonna make cry, fuck's sake. The goddess of time and memory, please don't forget my wish. Please, let my dear friend break this shell of evil fate. You're always here for me, aren't you? Sorry, Rena. Please, let me borrow one more thing for the last time. I'll return it to you if I have the chance. Mira, you've done so much for me. I finally have the courage to face the truth because of you. 
I'll be there for you too. A hundred years later, a road is finally built from the north of Phantom Woods to North Eve. After the civil strife ended, the mysterious kingdom has shown its face for the first time in a century. The travelers who return from North Eve usually speak of a legendary girl. Her family bears the curse of protection and fought against the prejudice and loneliness for a hundred years. Though these are merely misunderstanding and fear from the royal family. It is said that the young keeper of the shell holding a bottle of furious poison threatened her own life to free the kingdom. But that's also cool that they made that little thing with Arena saying that a poison is worth more than she'll make in an entire lifetime. Free the kingdom from the shell of ignorance and cowardice. The story was changed when it was told again and again. Her true experience has become unclear. Some versions mention that the girl lost her love and her little brother went missing during the strife. Well, no one knows for sure. Maybe. Everything about the story is merely a legend. Or maybe a myth. I hope the war near our borders can stop soon. I hope everyone can be happy. Mera, my wish has come true. Though I was once lost, you kept your word to make me remember. My family and other friends, they're all fine. What about you? And me? You know how I am from heaven, right? <sighs> Why did you bother to ask me to write everything down? Are you bullying me again? North Eve won't have a shell in the future. I'm the last keeper. Anyway, I promised I would hand over the magic core of our family when I was about to meet you. I guess it's compensation for my threat. Don't worry, it'll be in good hands. Yeah, a person helped me escape, though I didn't recall until recently. Sure, I guess I couldn't escape to the Phantom Woods without any help. It was a long way to the south, and I also heard that my little brother was settled down, safe and sound. I don't think it's a good idea to let him know everything, either. It's better to let him grow up in peace. I really want to meet him if I have the chance. We can talk more when we meet. I don't think you are a big fan of long letters. One day we'll meet again. Please wait for me. It won't be long. I, oh, fuck that. No, <laughs> don't. Those words are fucked, though. Like when you're talking to a fucking dead person and being like, I won't be long. Fuck that, man. Makes me sad. The true end. The shell of truth. What a beautiful visual. Six months ago. What little guy? <laughs> We've arrived. This is my house. Make yourself at home, okay? Sil, where are you? Really, you've made your decision. So that's little brother there. He's adorable. A crumbled letter was dropped on the ground with a bit of pigeon feather attached on it. Dear Sabrina, how is she? My memory spell can only last for about a year, but I believe it's enough to allow her, my dear friend, to settle down. I wrote this letter in jail with my last remaining magic power. I appreciate everything you did for me in this year. Thank you. Can I trouble you with one last request? The boy. I hit him in an acquaintance cart with an invisibility spell. It will reach Phantom Woods soon. I have to bother you again in the end. Please forgive me. Okay, so it was like Rena was set up by uh, Mera. All right. Our ride has failed and I'll be executed tomorrow. If she remembers anything, please keep this as a secret. Just tell her that I escaped and hid in the mountain. Thank you for taking care of her. Anyway, can you tell her one thing? You may just say it's a greeting from an old acquaintance. Please live happily without a shell. Yours sincerely, Meredith. What's the matter? Come in. Okay, yeah, that's the the ending. All right. Oh boy, it surely was depressing. Special thanks to you. Oh, yep, it didn't disappoint. Wait, is that a, that's a different thing now? What is house? Oh, what? It's the grave of Sabrina's husband. He was usually hey, I called that too. Man, we are owning. He was an enthusiastic explorer. He fell off the cliff near the northeast and passed away. His grave is also in the first stream. It's a memorial built by other explorers. Sabine was very depressed after losing her husband, then she turned extremely strict with her daughter, which led to their broken relationship. This was also the reason that Sabrina helped Silvio and- I literally- Dude, I called that all from the beginning. I think I watched too much anime. <laughs> the postman in the Phantom Woods. His deliveries are really fast. The letters won't even get wet in the storm. He loves money. We'll help for free if there's an important letter. Why is this pigeon so big? Because I don't know how to draw a pigeon and edit the default art material. I had to enlarge it to match the other things. I was desperate. Classic. Sylvia, the new royal sorcerer. She should have been the keeper of the shelp of permafrost, which she had already decided. However, her friend Meredith fought with the rebellions, making things difficult. Sylvia and Meredith grew up together and she considered Mera as her best friend. Meredith went to college after they graduated from magic school and Sylvia returned home to learn the magic from her family. They didn't see each other for a long time. During these years, Meredith happened to learn the secret of the shell of permafrost. Therefore, she joined the rebellions to save her friend. 
then the story begin. Meredith didn't escape her evil fate of death, but she changed Sylvia's mind as well as her life. I'll be there with you one day. Sylvia's little brother, there should be another story about him. Oh shit, really? Oh, that's cool. He's gentle and a little weak, and he's very fond of his sister. They had an elder brother, but the boy had passed away at a very young age. As the third child, he didn't have to be the keeper and protected by the family. He didn't know much about his family, the royalty or politics, and didn't want to know. He escaped from his homeland and was taken care of by Sabrina in the end. Sometimes he misses his sister a lot. Sabrina, a witch living in the phantom woods. Her real age is a mystery. Her words are rude, but actually she's a very nice person. She was in pain for some time after she lost her husband. Then she met Sylvia. Personally, she didn't want Sylvia to leave. Yet she respected her choice. Right. What? What's the matter? What about that thing out there? A creature named Hohota is jumping around. Actually, the scissor in my head is not stabbed in, but growing out. A photo of Sabrina and G. It was taken by magic. Therefore, G's half turned grey when he passed away. Dude, it's so like, it's such a small detail, but it's like such a cool little world detail. There is a young woman's painting hanging on the wall. This was Sabrina's daughter. Her face would change with age because she was a half witch. She would be very angry if anyone said that she looked like Sabrina's sister. And you, congratulations for unlocking the true end. I'm Yumi, the developer. This is the Omake room for finishing the game. This was for the short game contest on Project L Forum. The theme was Shell. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. The time limit was one month. I had a lot of friends helping me, yet until now it still feels not polished enough. And I had a bad call when the deadline was near. I did put much effort in it. Though it's not perfect, I'm satisfied with the way it is. In the true ending, Sylvia decided to confront her past. However, her friend had gone by that time, and they could only meet in heaven in the future. I did consider an ending of their reunion, but it was not very convincing. Yeah, it would have been more like fan service ish just being like, oh, they finally meet after everyone's fucking dead. I also would like to mention that Sylvia and her little brother were designed as mother and son in the draft. Yeah, it really looks like that when she was in the cellar especially. Who's the father after three days hard thinking I gave up? Anyway, the development was enjoyable. I made the menu using only events because I don't know any coding, which used more than 60 common events. It was exhausting when testing. I hope you enjoyed this game. Thanks for playing. Very well made if you watch this. Also, this person is Chinese, so probably won't watch this. <laughs> All right. Well, what a beautiful little free gem of a game, I must say. Made me tear up, made me happy, made me depressed as shit. That make me sad once again. It's got it all, goddammit. But yeah, I really like RPG Maker games. And I'm gonna dive into To the Moon and Finding Paradise. The next big series I'm gonna do is, of course, Cyberpunk tomorrow. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna play them, but I will play them. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It helps me out so much. Check out the merch, my Twitter, my second channel. Also, please leave some funny comments or any other games you want to check out. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, my name is Smith, and thanks for watching.